I'm Ed Rothberg, CEO at Gorobi Optimization. I'm happy to announce our new Gorobi 9.1 release. This release includes a number of performance improvements and new features. When we ask our customers what we should prioritize in new versions of our product, the number one answer is performance. A faster solver allows users to capture more detail in their optimization models, to tackle new problem types that they can't currently address, and to spend less time tuning their models in order to squeeze out inefficiencies to meet runtime constraints. Our new release manages to deliver performance improvements for almost every problem type we solve. The biggest improvement is in our bilinear non-convex quadratic solver, which we first released in version 9.0. Our previous release was already the fastest available for problems of this type by a pretty large margin. Our new release improves on performance by more than a factor of four on average. This potentially opens up new opportunities for solving problems in a number of new application domains, most notably in continuous manufacturing, where such problems were just not practical to solve before. We've also made major improvements to our irreducible inconsistent subsystem finder, our IIS finder. Finding an IIS is extremely valuable when you have an issue in your model that makes it infeasible and you need to narrow down the problem. Our IIS solver is more than 2.6 times faster in version 9.1. This helps you identify your modeling issue quickly and get back to solving your real problem. We also now provide an early estimate of the size of the IIS, so you can quickly get a sense of the scope of the problem in your model. Our linear programming solvers have also made major strides forward in this release. The basic algorithms for LP were introduced more than 70 years ago and there's been a sustained effort to push them forward ever since. That makes it quite a challenge to find new sources of improvement. We're happy to announce that we've managed to improve the speed of our dual simplex algorithm by 27% on average across a broad test set, and by more than 60% for the harder models in that set. Our primal simplex and barrier solvers have improved as well by 15% on the broad set, and by more than 30% on the harder models. We've also made improvements to our mixed integer solvers. Our mixed integer linear solver is 5% faster on the broad set on average. Our mixed integer quadratic solver is 6% faster. And our mixed integer quadratically constrained solver is 14% faster. We've also significantly enhanced the ability of our MIP solver to find high quality feasible solutions. This isn't actually visible in the performance numbers I just quoted, but getting better solutions earlier is quite helpful. A new release does a much better job of that. I should add that the performance improvements I quoted are measured across a large test set. Some models may see bigger improvements than the averages, and of course, some may see much smaller improvements or even degradations. You should always test your own models to get a sense of the benefit that you will see. Customers pointed out a few areas where we could make their lives easier by adding new capabilities to the product. Version 9.1 includes a new no-rel heuristic. This heuristic was motivated by a few recent customer interactions with a customer and models where relaxation was extremely expensive to solve. This isn't that common, but it can be a big problem when you do run into it. Relaxations are really at the core of a modern MIP solver, so not being able to solve them quickly can severely limit your options. This new no-rel or no relaxation heuristic finds high quality solutions without ever actually solving the relaxation. We've also added a new integrality focus feature. MIP models often use binary variables to capture logical conditions. For example, you'd use a binary to capture the constraint that you can't send flow down a pipe if you don't actually build the pipe. MIP solvers work in floating point arithmetic though, so your logical constraints can sometimes be a bit looser than you may have intended. The, the well-known trickle flow problem is actually a form of this, where in some situations a MIPS solution can, can allow a significant amount of flow down the pipe, even though the binary variable that is meant to control this is just a tiny bit above zero. Our new integrality focus feature removes nearly all of the significant artifacts that can result from such numerical tolerance issues. You pay a small performance penalty, around 2% across our broad test set, but the upside is that you no longer have to contend with these often vexing integrality tolerance issues. We've made several improvements to our Python interface, Groby Pi. Python's the language of data science, 
and we continue to work hard to make it as easy as possible to build optimization models within this popular programming language. The first enhancement is that you can now install Groby Pi from PIP, the package installer for Python. Just say pip install Groby Pi and Groby is ready to run from within your Python environment. We've also enhanced our Python Matrix API, which we released in Groby 9.0. The main change is the new Matrix Constraint class, which makes it easier for you to stay within the Matrix API without having to drop down into working with scalar objects. Our new release includes a number of additional enhancements. Please stop by our website to see the full list or to download Groby 9.0.